everyone. It's been a while and I hope you're doing well. It's nice to get back to our collaboration this week. So this week we're working with orange and split complementary colors blue green and blue violet. I have to admit it was weird moving back to working in specific colors but at least I had an idea in mind. Unfortunately I forgot to press record when I started. So let me backtrack my steps and show you on this piece of paper what I did and how I got started. I wanted to put down um, blue violet and blue green horizontally onto the page just using a palette knife. And as usual, I didn't mix the colors. I like to blend them on the paper. So that's what I did here. It's in a haphazard way as usual. And for the blue-green, this is my favorite turquoise, but it is um, dark. And I, I don't see any green there. So what I decided to do was just to add some green directly onto that line right there. So here we go. And here's the journal. As you can see, it's very messy. So let's add some green to this as well. So since the focal color, or what I refer to as the main color actually, is orange, I want to get that color down on a piece of paper. And I am just using I think it's just a lightweight mixed media paper and I'm going to just use two shades of orange and acrylic and um, what is that oh my Stabilo Woody and the orange pencil is um, new it is a Stabilo all but it is in orange I've only had black up until now, but I was able to find orange, red, brown, green, and blue, so that's fun. to cut out a wonky circle out of the orange paper and place it off center on the right page. I have this circle stencil by Dina Wakely and I love the different irregular circles and looking at this I want a circle that is larger than the height of the horizontal lines. So right before I decided to cut out the circles, I felt that this was just a little flat. So I decided to add a little bit of white paint just randomly throughout the page, just so I can catch some of the white and uh, texture 
within the circle once I cut them out. But I have to be careful not to cover up the whole page because that is so easy to do for me. It's interesting. I cut a few circles, but I'm still not crazy about them. Um, I made a larger size that seemed too big, and then I realized I, it was so flat I needed to add the other two colors for more interest. So I thought that would do the trick, but no, nope, still not right. And I finally figured out why. It's because adding those colors after the fact doesn't make it random. It feels so flat and very tight. And I don't think adding a focal point will make it any better. But I still love the concept. I want to hang on to the original idea. So what I need to do is walk away and um, collect my thoughts and see where we can go with this. So after my break I went through my scraps and I found these straight away. They're perfect. And um, then I remembered a couple of collage sheets and the first one was designed by Claudette. It's one of my favorites and I use it often. I love that there's the blue and a little bit of green and a paler shade of orange and I love all the black and white. This sheet is by Kelly Mae Krenz and as you can see there's a lot of that fiery orange, bits of blue and this sentiment really really spoke to me so I think it's perfect. Um, so what I did, I decided to create a new collage sheet rather than piecing everything. So I just took snippets, put them together, ran it through my copier, and this is what I got. And I really love it because it, I'm surprised the color turned out so well. But anyway, I love that there's just so much interest. There's a lot of texture coming through and pattern, and the colors are just spot on. And I realized after all this that the larger circle is perfect. At first I thought it was going to be too big, but now that we're, I'm working with this collage sheet, if you will, with all the patterns, it, it really makes a statement. It will make a statement on the page. But I needed a focal point, and fortunately, I took a look through this. It's by Dina Wakely. Maybe you have one of these collage books. They're great. And look what I found. This sketch, this girl, she is perfect. Look at the colors. They just go so well. And now I'm set. So I'm going to put everything together, and I'll be back to show you how it all turned out. And here's the finished layout. I fussy cut the image, added this die cut flower that you might recognize from a couple weeks ago, and um, also added the words from Kelly's collage sheet. Let me talk a little bit about the background. So I had stenciled orange dots 
um, and in acrylic ink and it didn't show through so I went over them with the Posca pen and um, that really did the trick. I should also mention that if you notice on the bottom um, I kind of smoothed out the top and the bottom with just a, a paintbrush with water. I didn't add paint. I wanted to move the paint to get rid of those jagged edges that I had although I did leave some of some of them there and um, now I'm very happy. I'm really glad I walked away, didn't give up. I think that Kelly's message there um, really speaks the truth. You just have to let it go. And um, let me show you a close-up of the page. And I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you to maybe make your own new collage papers with what you've got and use them in different ways. So until next time, take care and thanks so much for watching. Bye.